What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! I have no idea what this is. Uh... Okay. There's no hints here. Uh... I, I'll be honest with you folks, I have no idea what I have here. All it says here is, when you're overqualified for the job. Wow, man, freaked out! I have no idea what this is. Um, uh, okay. Okay, well, let's go with it. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do the whole clicks and likes and bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that, watch the whole video first. Give me a chance to earn those likes and those clicks. Now, after the video's done, if you feel like doing all the clicks and the likes, then by all means, Feel free to click away. This was a request from DSP9011, uh, 9011, or yeah, maybe that's it, DSP9011. Uh, DSP9011 wanted to see me react to this, uh, I don't know if this is a song or what. All it says is, when you're overqualified for the job. Mass hysteria! For all I know, this is maybe, maybe this is one of those, you know, human interaction videos, you know, trying to restore faith in humanity. N n I already did one of those. Maybe this is the same thing when you're overqualified for the job. Or maybe it's, you know, showing off, you know, people who are better at the job than they should be. I don't know. Um, I have no clue. I'm, I'm literally going into this blind, so. Anyway, uh, have I seen this before? Have I, maybe, it, it could be a song for all I know. I don't know. I mean, look. All I know is this, this does not look familiar, this does not sound familiar, so I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna say I haven't heard or, see this or seen this before. Uh, now look, if it turns out that I have, you know, if I start watching this and listening to it or whatever the case may be, and I say, wait a minute, time out, I've seen this or I've heard this before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? And the video has 4.8 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. The link to the visual video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. What in the world am I looking at here? Are you kidding me? When you're overqualified for the job, what in the world am I looking at here? What the hell? I, okay, I, I, okay. Yeah, I know, I see a drum set. I, look, I'm not that dumb, okay? I get it, there's a drum set. What in the hell is this? Is this like a drum solo or something? Dude's gonna be playing drums in a costume, I guess. Okay, well let's let's see where this goes. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I mean, okay, let me just get this out of the way. Looking at his hands, it doesn't look like he's holding on with bare hands. It looks like he's holding on to those sticks through his costume. I don't know what kind of visual uh, range he has in that costume. I don't know if he has just a little peepholes or Maybe he's seeing through the mouth here or something. I, I don't know. I, I have no clue how this costume works. But I'm going to tell you right now, playing in a costume like that, that cannot be easy. I mean, 
you better be holding on to those sticks tight with that costume. Um, what is going on with this lady over here? What is she doing? She's dressed like a ringmaster at a circus. So I, I, I am, I am so confused right now. And if I'm being a hundred percent honest, I'm getting a little upset because I, I wish I had a little more context. I wish, uh, who requested this again? DSP 9011. I, I really wish DSP 9011 had given me some context and told me, you know, look, you don't have to go into great detail, but you could give me some background at least. Like, what is this? Is this a festival? Is this a, a game show? Is this a kid's show? Is this a, a legit concert? I mean, I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. So I'm a little frustrated and I'm getting a little upset because I, I wish I had more context. Ah! Anyway, uh, let's, let's keep going here. It sounds like a kid's song. costume cannot be easy i mean it, it really can't be i look whoever this person is in that costume i give them all the credit in the world for being able to play in a costume like that i mean i i don't know if i could do it i, I mean okay forget drums playing bass in a costume like that i don't know if i could do it um i've never tried i mean maybe I, it depends on what i'm playing but i can guarantee you with those hands the style of costume for the looks of it doesn't look like there's you know individual fingers it looks like mittens so I don't know how well I could possibly play a bass in a costume like that. I guess it's as good as mine. But I mean, what he's playing really isn't all that complex, thankfully. But still, the fact that he's in that costume and even playing drums at all, is it's impressive. I can see why they're saying he's overqualified. I can see that. You know, if he was not in costume playing this, I would be like, okay, whatever. You know, it, this does not sound hard. This sounds like a kid song, is what it really sounds like. And you got this lady over here, like I said, looking like she's a ringleader in a circus. She's kind of, looks like she's kind of conducting, you know. It, I, I get the feeling maybe they're playing in front of an audience of kids. Like, this, I, I don't think it's like a birthday party or something like that, but I feel like the audience is predominantly kids, probably. And she's, you know, it like leading the kids. Maybe the kids know this song. Maybe this is a well-known kid song. I don't know. See, this is why I wish I had some backstory. I wish I had some context. just happened Second notes, what? Okay. I think I'm starting to see 
this come into play. Okay. Okay. I'm getting punked. That's what this is. I'm getting punked. Okay. Fine. I'm getting punked. 30 second note pattern on that hi-hat. Dear Lord. That's hard enough to do on your own. And then you throw in the fact he's wearing that ridiculous costume. Dear Lord. He's doing on the symbols and the skins and the double kick he's got going. You know, you do not get to go back to playing simple again. That no. Now you're just being a tease. Dear Lord. Just watch. Uh, yeah, 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 ah, I, <sighs> I'm confused. I'm frustrated. I'm elated. I, I feel a little anxious, if I'm being honest. And I'm thoroughly entertained. And I'm curious. I'm really curious. Who is in that costume? Who's that drummer? I need context. I need, I need the sauce. I need backstory. I need to know what in the hell is going on and who that is. I I don't know how I'm going to score this. Purely on drumming ability, I guess. But he's in a cut. Well, not, I, I'm saying he... But it might be a she. I don't know. That look, that could be Juno for all I know. <laughs> it could be. It could be uh it could be Haruna from Love Bites in that costume. It could be Akane from Bandman in that costume. I don't know. That's the truth. I, I don't know. Oh man. Uh... Don't be upset. Uh, let me gather my thoughts. Oh my God, there's a lot of thoughts I have to think about here. L let me gather my thoughts. I'll see you in the review and <laughs> we're going to talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was <laughs> all I have here is when you're overqualified for the job. This was a request from DSP 9011. Okay. Um, I thought about this and I have far more questions than I have answers. I have a ton of questions. 
And I, I don't know, I, if I had more context, like if I knew what was happening, if I knew the circumstances, if I knew what this performance was, what it was for, who the audience members are, who the target demographic is, who that person is inside the suit. That suit, is that a, is that a cartoon character? Uh, that person standing on the side wearing the, the striped jacket, who is, who is she? What does she do? You know, uh, <laughs> what song is this? Is this, is this, is this a hit song? Is this a song that people know? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I, have, I have a ton of questions and very few answers. So that did come into account here, unfortunately. It, 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 did, it did affect the score a little bit. So I did my best to really stay focused and really take into account what I do know. And that is the drumming itself. What was being played, how well it was being played, how clean it was, how impressive it was. So I'm taking all of that into account, and that's what I'm doing my best to base my score on. <sighs> on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 9.2. Yup, 9.2, you heard me, I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this video deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. For a moment, I want you to take that costume and put it aside, okay? I want you to just for a moment, imagine your favorite drummer, whoever that drummer might be. I want you to imagine your favorite drummer, okay? I want you to picture your drummer sitting behind their kit sitting behind their drum set. Now I want you to picture and imagine your favorite drummer playing what was played. Can you see it? I can. I can tell you right now, one of my favorite drummers is Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater. Uh, another one, Neil Peart from Rush. Uh, another one, Dave Weckl from, uh, well, from there's various things he's from. Most notably, the Chikoria Electric Band, okay? Well, I, I, I'm listening to, I'm trying to imagine these three guys playing this. And it would be impressive. It would be. I mean, I as far as, I okay. All right, Mike Portnoy playing what was played. Very seeable. I, I could absolutely see him playing that and nailing it out of the park. Um, Neil Peart, I don't think I would ever see him play that, to be honest with you. I, I don't, I, I, could he have played that? Yeah, I, absolutely, I believe he could have played it. But it's kind of hard to picture it. But I, I can see him doing. I, I can see him being perfectly capable of doing it if he wanted to. Dave Weckl, yeah, I can see him playing something like that. Absolutely. Uh, not not in his wheelhouse. But I bet you anything, if someone said a chart in front of him, he would take a look at it for about two minutes and go, "Okay, you mean this?" And he would nail it out of the park. Um, so I can absolutely see it. Now here's the thing. That drummer could be anybody. We don't know who's under that suit. At least, at least I don't think we know. Maybe we do know. I don't, but okay. Me personally, I have no idea who's in that suit. Maybe people do. Maybe it's no big secret, but I have no idea. That adds a certain mystery, a certain bit of anonymity. We don't know who's behind that. We don't know who's in that costume. We don't know who's behind that drum kit. Maybe it's a complete unknown. Maybe it is Mike Portnoy. We don't know. Or, let, let's not be sexist here, there are plenty of female drummers out there who are perfectly capable of playing something like this. Let's start with like Haruna from Love Bites. Could she play something like that? Yeah, absolutely she could. That is right up her wheelhouse. I could absolutely see her playing that. What about uh, Akane from, from Bandmate? Can I see her doing that? Yeah, absolutely I can see her doing that. Sure. Um, and with that type of showmanship too, doing like the hands on the head thing, you know. Do -do 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 -ba 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 and then back into the thing. I can see her doing something like that. Yeah, sure, no problem. Um, but we don't know who it is. At least, well, at least I don't. Maybe you guys do. See, this is where I need context. This is where I need backstory. This is where I need the sauce. You see what I'm saying? It would really help. It would really help a lot. Um, the drumming on its own was extremely impressive. I mean, okay, not gonna lie. The first like minute I was sitting here going, 
this is not hard. I mean, okay, great, he's wearing a costume, but the drum pattern is being played. This is not difficult. It really isn't. I mean, I I, I might even be able to play it. I, I, I'm not a drummer by any stretch, but you know, I know how to work a kick drum and a hi-hat and a stare, and that, that's all it is. Do stat, do stat, do stat, do do stat. It can't be that hard, right? It doesn't look very difficult. And then, here's the kicker. About a minute in, all of a sudden he does this roll on the snare, and I'm like, okay, that, that was cool. All right, all right. And then he did on the hi-hat into a fill. And I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. And then next thing I know, he goes into this ridiculous pattern. And from there on, it was just amazing. Phenomenal drumming. What a setup. Suckered me in. Absolutely suckered me in. Um, the drumming was impressive. Okay, the drumming on its own, I would be putting it like an 8.8. .8, yeah, 8.8 .8 sounds about right. It does. You know, if I were to see Mike Portnoy sit down and play that on his own, or or or, or Dave Weckl, or well, God rest his soul, Neil Peart, you know, if he were alive today, sit down and play that, or any number of drummers sit down and play that. The drummer from Gujira, I, I think he could absolutely do this. Um, you know, that how about this? The drummer from Ginger, how about him? Could he do this? Yeah, absolutely. The drummer from Dragon Force, I could see him doing that too. But you see what I mean? There's a lot of drummers that can play what was played. So I can't really say that what he was playing or she was playing was mind blowing. It was, I mean, it was impressive, yeah, but it, well, I wouldn't call it mind blowing. I can see a number of drummers pulling it off. So like I said, I would give the drumming about an 8.8 .8 all day long. So how in the world do I get to a 9.2? There is a simple, undeniable fact. This guy was, or this gal, was playing this really nice drumming, really impressive drumming, in a costume. A sealed costume with probably limited visibility and mittens for hands. Imagine a drummer playing with their four fingers glued together. Have you ever seen a, have you ever seen a lobster play drums? You ever seen that? I sure as hell haven't, you know? I, I've i never seen a drummer with mittens on play the drums. I've, I've never seen it. And even mittens is a stretch. I don't know if there was thumbs in there or not. I don't know if it was this. It may have just been this. And they're playing like that? Playing that costume? Are you kidding me? That was mind blowing. It, it absolutely was. So yeah. I, I got to bump it up to the 9.2. I don't have a choice. <laughs> so that is how I'm coming to the 9.2. I'm still confused. I'm not going to lie. I'm still a little frustrated because I don't have any context. And now I'm sure when this video airs in six weeks, <laughs> right now it's seriously right now, it, it's June 28th right now. Okay. When this video airs in the middle of August, <laughs> I'm sure by that point, uh, when this video airs, people in the comments are going to tell me all about this. And they're going to give me the sauce. And they're going to tell me, yeah, this is what it is. And this is what it's for. And this is what it's about. And this is the song. And yeah, this is happening. And no, that didn't happen. And blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that's all going to happen. But today, June 28th, 2022, I have no clue. I have no idea. And I'm left with a lot of questions. And I don't like having questions. I really don't. I like having answers. So I am a little frustrated. But it was still fun to watch. It was amazing to see this being done. It was solid drumming, man. Dear Lord. Super solid drumming. And the boot done in a giant red costume. More seductive than sex. You can't say that on TV. I can say that. I, I think I can say I've seen it all now. 9.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. 
it honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me but if you guys feel like doing these things then by all means feel free to do so well that's gonna do it for tonight folks thank you very much for watching and as always this is david heretic signing off reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other later peace